Welcome back, you dons, to another video. Today is slightly different. Season's over. Been a fairly good season overall. Shame to miss out in the playoffs. But anyway, we're going to roll into our top 10 moments of the season. Remember, if you agree with us, write in the comments. If you don't, put your own top 10 in there. Going to hand over to Ronnie for number 10. Starting with 10, we're going for Josh Kelly versus Tranmere. And he also got a brace. He's been trying his hardest He's and just finally got the goal he's wanted. Yeah, to be fair, everyone loves Josh Kelly. Every week, we've ever, everyone was predicting Josh Kelly to score, Josh Kelly to score. Number 10, because he's such a good fella. Really nice geezer. And we all want you to get that goal. I think that's a really important goal. Right lads, hope you're well. Uh, sorry, first goal. Obviously very happy to get my first goal for the club. Took a bit longer than I would have wanted, but got there in the end. Um, looking forward to next season. Can't wait to get started again. Hopefully a better season than the last and get the club back up where they deserve to be. Our number nine is going to be Al Hamadi's hat-trick against Tranmere at home. We feel this is a really important time of his season. Obviously, really contributed to securing his move to Ipswich. Disappointing for us because it's a shame like, where we could have finished if he had stayed with us in January. But you can't deny a player of his quality that move. And obviously, he's a Premier League player now, which has benefited us. I've got to agree with Jack there. Moving to Ipswich was a big move in his career. He was a, a key player for us, scoring quite a few goals. And it's also his first professional hat-trick what made it even better. Starting with eight, we've got Kofi Barmer versus Notts County. His first ever goal for the club and his football history. To be fair, the actual game wasn't so great, but I thought we took a, over 1,200 fans there. The atmosphere was absolutely brilliant. Obviously, like the boys said, the actual long throw worked for once and Kofi got his first goal for us. So that was generally more just the whole atmosphere and vibes. And obviously, taking three points away from home was important at that stage in the season. We feel this could have been higher than number seven. We feel like if we were going into that last game of the season and Omar Bouga had scored his hat-trick against Walsall, you know, and it had taken us to playoffs, this could have been a lot higher in, in the actual uh, table. But obviously, Bouga, in my opinion, he was our player of the season. He carried us a lot of the time, really stepped up when Ali left. And also, like, it was a great way to end the season. Your first hat-trick for the Dons, how do you feel after that? Yeah, of course, delighted. I mean, my first Football League hat-trick. We got a win, 5-1 uh, at home. And yeah, the place was rocking today. Free football, loads of opportunities to score, and that's what happens when you obviously you play the, what you, the way you want to play, and hopefully we can do that next year again. Thank you. We have six. We've gone with Jake Reed versus Notts County with his two penalties. 
it was well as we know Notts County are a really big club with really good history and they're around the top part of the table um it was a lot of pressure he didn't take two penalties in his whole career the boys said there was a lot of pressure on them penalties we previously missed you know two or three penalties before he stepped up to take them which has cost us vital points in the table and obviously at that moment in time it was a uh, imperative that you put them in the back of their net you know and we were all nervous and yeah that's why we went for the Jake Reese penalty at number six So, Reeves, you scored a few important goals for us. Out of all of them, what's your favourite goal? Um, I think the second one against Notts County. A lot of pressure riding on it. We obviously needed a win. Try and keep some momentum at that time going. Uh, obviously, taking two pens in the games, obviously, I've never had to do it before. So, a lot of pressure riding on it. But I'd say that was my favourite. Right. Getting into the last five now. At number five. We are going with Sutton away. Just the general day was brilliant. You know, the 3-0 thumping of our, our local rivals, let's say. It, it was just a magnificent day, you know, limbs everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's just the atmosphere was fantastic. So that reached number five for us. But As Jack said, it was a really great atmosphere. Powell coming on about 30 seconds later, this came over a brilliant delivery. And Pell with a bullet header, putting it in the back of the net. So for fourth, we've gone Curtis versus Mansfield. Curtis, his first game back after basically a year with a bad ACL injury. But last minute winner, great delivery by McLean and just put it in the back of the net as he usually does. Yeah, we hadn't seen a last minute winner at Plough Lane for a very, very long time. So obviously at that point of the season, you know, that, that three points was massive for us. And also, you know, like being out for that long, it was a great momentous moment for Curtis himself. So really kick-started his season as well.
Right, we are into our final three countdown. I mean, remember to write in the comments your top 10. If you agree or disagree, there's loads we could have put in here. We had Davidson's goal against Colchester with a great finish. Pierce with the amazing celebration against Portsmouth in the EFL Trophy. Sassu scoring his first goal. Bass with a great save against the franchise right at the end of the game. There's loads of moments in the season that could drop into your top 10. Obviously, this is only our opinion. This is only our thoughts of what we felt was our best moments. And at number three, it was Ryan McLean scoring his first goal for the club against Coventry in the Carabao Cup. The delivery from Oggs, he made it great. Absolutely put it in the top bins. We were down at that time. It was another last-minute sort of comeback with Bugle just knitting just before that. But obviously... He set up that great tie with Chelsea. So going into the top two now. For me, top two has got to be Tilly versus Chelsea. See, scoring at Stamford Bridge, League Two versus Premier League. Wow, what a moment! For me personally, you know, it was just a great moment to even score at the bridge. As fans, we we bought, I think, like we four four thousand five hundred down there. Everyone together, everyone celebrating, cheering throughout. I mean, and realistically, we, I thought we were really unlucky not even to get psyched out of the game, you know. Just a few errors in the game. But for me personally, it was the first time I actually got to take the children to a Premier League stadium. So to experience it with AFC Wimbledon, obviously having that moment to cheer, I thought it was a really good moment for myself and the kids and, and obviously AFC Wimbledon. Um, yeah, amazing experience playing at the bridge in front of 40,000 fans or whatever it was. Um, and also the unbelievable Dons fans. Um, with the penalty, I think in my head, I was just going to go down the middle, hit it as hard as I can, and hopefully the keeper don't stand. And thankfully, he dived. Um, and obviously, yeah, a great feeling scoring at the bridge in front of uh, the Dons fans. <laughs> First place, well, you should already know. It's got to be Ronan Kurtz versus the franchise. It was a really great moment. Haven't really beaten them in like seven years. Wow, it was mental. Pyros, everything. When the goal went in, my heart beat with joy. Boy said it. There was no introduction needed for number one. Ronan Curtis with that last minute winner against franchise. You know, it was just as you saw in the celebrations, the, the crowd erupted. It was just insane. Everyone just, ah, oh, it was just brilliant, wasn't it? So, yeah, and obviously to do it against uh, them was even better. That's us. Come on, Jack. Come on, That's the ball.
um, this season was the most important game to you? Against the franchise, particularly at home, obviously at Plough Lane. So I think the obviously the second fixture at Plough Lane, particularly what happened at the first fixture, that was there was a lot riding on that. Pride, another three points, and obviously for our fans to to be able to do that for the first time at Plough Lane, I say that was the most important. Thank you, mate. Thank you for listening to our top 10. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you for supporting us and being so kind all year. Thank you for supporting us the whole season. We made it past 1K around New Year's. Just a massive thank you to everyone. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I hope you have a really nice summer. Come on, you runs! So Omar, out of all the goals you scored, what is the favourite? Of all the goals I've scored, um, I do like the Harrogate game where it was the old outside the boot, outside the box, 1-0 win on the Tuesday night away. Uh, but yeah. I don't really score many goals away. I think that's my only one I scored this year and the other 13 were here at this place and look, I love playing here. That's why I'm going to commit for another two years to this great club and I want to put this place back on the map because it deserves to be in League One. It's a building process and then obviously next year we want to go again even better. How are you done? Go on, you know. When you played for us quite a while back, what was your favourite goal back then? And um, this season, what was the most important game for you? Uh, everyone talks about the York goal, obviously, naturally, because of the kind of strike it was. My personal favourite was always the, the, the first goal against the franchise, where Lyle scored the winner. Remember that, obviously. I don't ever get any plaudits for that, unfortunately, because Lyle scored the winner. Everyone forgets I scored, so I've got to put it in there so everyone you know, remembers. <laughs> Most important game this season... I think there's been a few in different in different certain periods to keep us ticking over, but obviously any game against the franchise, particularly at home, obviously at Plough Lane. So I think the obviously the second fixture at Plough Lane, particularly what happened at the first fixture, that was there was a lot riding on that. Pride, another three points, and obviously for our fans to to be able to do that for the first time at Plough Lane, I say that was the most important. Thank you, mate.